So today, I thought it would be fun to go over how to measure receiver sensitivity. Now, we're going to use these two radios here. Uh, we're going to use this, uh, this Uniden Bearcat 980. It's a single sideband uh, CB transceiver. And on the bottom, we're going to measure the receiver performance of this ICOM R100. And we're going to use two different measurement techniques. We're going to use the sine ed method and the signal plus noise over noise method. The sine ed measurement uh, is primarily done with FM receivers. You can use it on other receivers like AM and sideband receivers. And you'll get similar results, but usually the results will be off by a few dB. I did the sine ed measurement on uh, here a while back on a couple of radios. And uh, while it did uh, give me usable results, they could they, they were probably off a few dB. So we're going to redo this Bearcat. I did this in another video and I did just sine ed measurement. But we're going to use a different method. We're going to use the signal plus noise over noise. And the radio on the bottom, we're going to use both. So let me uh, get things uh, set up here and uh, we'll continue. So the first radio we're going to test here is this Uniden Bearcat. Now I've tested this before and uh, the last measurements I got this radio was deaf by about 10 dB. So we're going to confirm it with this test because the last test I used was Synad. We're going to use the uh, signal plus noise over noise test and according to the manual it should, uh, the output should increase at the speaker by 10 dB uh, at uh, half a microfold. So, I have signal generator set up for 27.115 megahertz, 30% modulation depth at one kilohertz. And I have my base, I have the output turned off. We have the base, now, since we're gonna be gaining 10 dB, I set the output to a minus 10 dB on the, my meter here. So now if I turn that signal generator on, that meter should deflect up to around zero dB. So now we will turn signal generator on. And surprise, surprise, it's deaf. We're only about uh, six, seven dB. So that's, you know, down quite a bit. So now let's turn up the signal here. Let's go to one microvolt and see where we're at, where we're at there. So there we are at one microvolt. And we're still a few dB down, but, uh, you know, that's what I kind of expected, so let me turn this up a little bit more till we get to 0 dB, or thereabouts. And voila, I have to have 1.22 microvolts of drive, which is a lot worse. So at uh, 1.22 microvolts, divide, divide. I have to have almost two and a half times as much signal strength to get uh, an increase in 10 dB on AM. That's pretty bad. So now for sideband, uh, to obtain 10 dB, we should only need a quarter of a microvolt of input. And for this test, we have to change the parameters a little bit. Instead of injecting a tone, we just offset the carrier by one kilohertz. So on lower sideband, we will be hearing a one killer, there will be a one kilohertz tone there. And uh, so we got uh, the radio on lower sideband. We have our resting level there. Let's see, get it as close to minus 10 dB as possible. And now let's turn the output on. We're at a quarter microvolt. And we're only up by about a dB and a half. Yeah, that's <laughs> this uh, crappy sensitivity. So now let's uh, crank up the amplitude here and find out exactly how much signal has to be there to obtain a 10 dB increase. 
and then come back down a little bit. And we're at uh, 1.12 microvolts. So, we have 1.12, 0.25 divide. And yeah, it's uh, four, almost four and a half times as much signal as needed. Yeah, that, while this radio does work, it is a little deaf. So, 10 dBs or less, or less of deafness. <laughs> Not a spec, so. It's, uh, yeah, oh well. I kind of expected this, so. But anyhow, that's the way it goes. Anyway, on to the next radio. But before I forget, I just wanted to show you the formulas that I'm using here to determine all of this. For sine ad, it's, uh, you, know, you know, your first voltage over your second voltage. You take the logarithm of that, multiply it by 20, <clears throat> and that gives you your dB. Your uh, parameters here for this are is FM, you know, one kilohertz tone, with uh, three kilohertz of deviation. For signal plus noise over noise, to gain uh, 10 dB output at the speaker for AM, you know, one kilohertz tone modulated at 30% depth, and then you crank up your output to achieve this setting here, and that'll give you the, uh, the sensitivity for AM. Sideband is a little different. You don't need the kilohertz tone at 30%. You just offset the carrier coming out of the signal generator to generate the the one kilohertz offset, or the one kilohertz tone via just offsetting from sideband. All right, so now we're going to move on to the ICOM R R100. Now on AM, for its uh, 10 dB uh, signal over noise, requires a signal modulated at one kilohertz at 30 percent depth, and we should need a signal level of uh, 0.56 microvolts to meet that. So, we have 144.1 megahertz, 30% modulation, depth at 1 kilohertz, and we will adjust the radio before. So I take the output, the speaker output, and plug it into the meter with a little bit of a load on it. And so now we'll adjust the volume to get our minus 10 dB setting. Okay, now that we're there, we will turn on the output. We got the level set to 0.56 microvolts. And surprise, uh, this receiver is doing a little bit better than it's uh, than the specification listed in the manual. So let's turn this down and find out. Okay, it's a 0 dB or 10 dB. We need 0.35 microvolts, so that's a little bit better than what's uh, listed in the manual. So I would consider that a pretty sensitive receiver. So let's now move on to uh, FM. All right, now for FM, we are going to use 144.1 megahertz. We're going to use uh, three and a half kilohertz of deviation at one kilohertz, as far as uh, it shows here on this. Uh, manual and since we're going to be using the notch filter what I'll do here is that we have our signal generator all set up ready to go 0.2 microvolts output now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the output of the radio until this LED starts coming on it tells me that uh, it's a normal signal level and then I will use this control here to adjust for a zero dB reference. Or as close as I can get to it. That looks like about close enough. Now we engage the notch filter. And it goes down to about 10, maybe a little bit more. That's pretty close. That's also with the preamp on and running uh, three and a half kilohertz of deviation. So we can probably uh, increase the signal strength there a little bit. And uh, see what it gets us down to here. Looks like we need about uh, 
0.22 microvolts of signal strength to meet those uh, that 12 dB sign head. So, yeah, still not bad. That radio is pretty old. That radio was uh, made in the 90s <laughs> for all those years. Yeah, it still works. So, anyhow, I hope this was helpful. You know, it, uh, I did a bunch of research on how to do this. And I got uh, this chart here. <clears throat> This shows basic sign ad setup anyway. But yeah, once again, you have your signal generator here, your receiver, your one kilohertz notch filter, and you just basically just measure these two voltage, these two voltage measurements here, and uh, do the math. So anyway, I will uh, let this go for now, and uh, hope this was informative, like I said, and uh, maybe uh, let you guys uh, do this at home on your own stuff. So anyway, that's it for now. We'll catch you manana.